Hey guys, I'm making some lip balm today. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this. So right now over my double boiler, I have some beeswax, coconut oil, and shea butter just melting together. And I'm actually making it a double batch. So I have two, um, two whole recipes together, which is actually four tablespoons of shea butter, four tablespoons of coconut oil, and three tablespoons of beeswax. So if you're doing just a single batch, then do two tablespoons of shea butter, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and one and a half tablespoons of beeswax. I'm just gonna mix those up and I'll be back when it's all melted. Okay, so I'm back now. All of my ingredients got melted together, so I just removed it from the heat. So there's the heat, and then I just moved it over here onto the counter, and I'm going to add in a couple other things, so I'll show you as I do that. So here I just have some liquid vitamin E, and just like a couple squirts in there, because that's really nice for your lips. And I'm doing um, lavender, frankincense, and peppermint in mine. And since I'm doing the double, I'm going to add 20 drops of each one. Okay, so I added my essential oils to my melting mixture. And you can see here it's already kind of starting to set up. So you can see like the ring around the edge. So I'm going to hurry up and get these into my tubes. So notice I used a double boiler with a pour spout and I'm just gonna go right into my tubes from here. And I also rubber banded all of my tubes together so they stand up and I don't have to hold them. And I can just get these all poured. I'm just doing it nice and slow because these actually fill up quicker than you might think. And if you can't see the liquid level on the side, then they will overflow. All right, so I'm back. I filled all of my tubes, and this double batch made 32, and if you can see this one here, that's like a half, like 32 and a half um, lip balms. And it was super easy, it was super fast. It took me, I'm looking at my watch here, it took me nine minutes to do all of this, which is awesome. So I'm back a half an hour later. I just let them cool, all rubber banded together standing up straight and then I'm just going to pop back and get these caps on and then when I'm all done then I can undo the rubber band and I'll be ready to label my tubes and that's it.